topic was exact value of sine and cosine. Cosine at 135 degrees. So then we look in, our, in the unit circle and we find that cosine in quadrant 2 is negative. So then we write cosine in quadrant 2 is negative. And then we bring that down. So we get cosine of 135 degrees is equal to cosine of negative 45 degrees. We get that when we when we the reference angle we have to subtract 135 from 180 and we got 45 degrees. So then since we when we looked at the unit circle, we noticed that cosine and quadrant two was negative. So then we keep the sign and we add it to the reference angle. So then we get cosine of we ignore the sign and we find what cosine of 45 degrees is. So then we look at the table and we see that cosine of 45 degrees is equal to square root of 2 over 2. So then we, we since the sign was negative, we keep the sign and then the answer is negative square root of 2 over 2. Who is sine of 300 degrees? So first, when we graph it, we have to start in the initial side, and then we go all the way to where we think 300 degrees is at. So then we, so then sinus, sinus is in sinus, sinus in quadrant four. So then we go back to the inner circle, and then we see that sine in quadrant four is negative. So then we get. We write it down sine of 300 equals sine of negative 60. 60 is the reference angle of 300. And you get the reference angle by subtracting 360 minus 300, which equals 60. So then we bring it down and we put sine negative 60 equals negative square root of 3 over 2. And we got that when we looked at the table. Sine of 60 degrees is negative 3 over 2. And we kept the sign that we got from the unit circle.